Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different and it's the first time Elaine and I have done a sit down video together in a while. And the thing about today's video is it's really exciting for me um, because it's the first time that a company has ever contacted me and asked me to talk about one of their products. So what we're talking about today is... Yeah, I think it's just it's important to highlight that like a company contacted you to talk about one of their products, but the product isn't for you. No, that is, you're, you're absolutely <laughs> right. The product is not for me at all. It is for Frank, who's just out of shot. He's down there. You can probably he, hear chomping and we're sorry, but... He's eating a chew and it's the only thing we can give him that will make him be quiet while we're recording this video. But what we were sent was this. So this is from a company called Woof Woof. It's a doggy subscription box. So they contacted me by email and they asked me, would I be happy for them to send me the box and I open it here on camera for you guys. So what it is is- That's also all they said. They didn't say, like he's runs that kind of paid for it. Oh yeah. They didn't say you have to say nice things about it. And we have done a doggy subscription box before. So this is another one, but we're not really gonna compare it to that one. We're just gonna take this as a standalone product. This is a UK company. The other one was an Irish company. Yeah. It, the box seems fairly packed. It does. I have no idea what's in here. The only um, information I needed to give them was whether or not Frank had any food allergies or anything like that. I just mentioned that he's a big dog because they do subscription boxes for little doggos, for medium sized doggos, and for big doggos like Frank. Um, so I presume that means that like the size of the things in the box varies depending on the size of your dog. So anyway, I think I've done enough talking. Let's get to opening this up. So Elaine just pointed something out to me that there's a little sticker of a dinosaur right here. Cute. And the Woof Woof logo looks like a W, but it's made to look like a dog's face, which is also Aww. really cool. And I've just noticed that it's on the top of the box here as well. So there's loads of stuff in here. <gasps> oh, uh, this makes sense. It's Dogosaurus. Ah, uh, yes, okay. So it's themed and it's a Dogosaurus theme. That's very cute. That is, oh look at it, look. Oh, and it's really cool. So it says, oh. it tells you like things that are in, in it. That there's a Dogosaur, there's Dino Meat, there's a Dino Mash, and a Dino Bolt. This is really nicely wrapped. Like the wrapping paper is all little dogs. And it's just folded over. Is there a grey handle? Just... I don't think there is. I don't think so. No. no. That's okay. Yeah. Is it though? <gasps> Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we have is the dino meat. Free from dino meat is what it says here. So this is the dino meat. On this thing it says, do not worry, free from dino meat. Two premium British treats with a high percentage of meat. Oh, oh so yeah. So okay, cool. So these are meat treats. So there's a meaty original with beef, and then there's pet munchies, natural dog treats, duck. And sweet, sweet potato. potato sticks. That's very cool. That's class. And I know a dog who's going to love this. This is so cool. There is a squeak or something in it. <laughs> Hello? Not yet, don't do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to. So this. This is the dino bone. Yeah, so like... this is a, uh, it's a strong rubber Chew toy. Oh, he loved that. So he's gonna love that. That's gonna be great for his teeth. I'm not gonna squeeze it in case it does squeak as well. And then the next thing we have, oh, it's like a suction. Yeah, so cup. you suction it to the ground. Oh, and amazing. then he tugs on it. Now, he's not gonna, well, he might he's play not with really it. like, he gets very bored easy. He doesn't really tug yeah. on things, but. If, yeah, if he doesn't get them straight away, he tends to lose interest. But we'll try that with them. I think he'll give it a go. And then we have, Oh cool! So this is a bowl mat, so this is obviously is for him, but it's not a toy for him. So we can put this on the ground and it's like a microfiber cloth. Now Frank has a raised feeding dish, so I don't know how that would work, but we can yeah. give it a go and see will it rest on give it. it go. We could cut it in half and put it on either side. We could. Now the thing of it is, it's more, he spills a lot of water, but he doesn't really spill his food that That's much. That's true actually. So if we put it water. under the water side, Hello. it would probably be really good. 
Hey, buddy. So this is amazing. There's okay, what do you want to play with loads first? of stuff here. I think I know what he wants to play with first. I think he's kind of choosing it already. Hi. Hello. Will we go over to your bed and will we try some stuff out? Yes, let's do that. Frank. Hello, buddy. Do you want this? Do you want it? Look at the labels on it, does it? Yep. <gasps> That's a different squeak sound. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? If we try and take this from him, he will growl, but we're not going to, but he likes it. So... Oh, he loves it. That got the Frank Hutchinson seal of approval. You see, he already has a dino. Yeah. Which we got him, like, one of the first toys we got him, but he only started playing with it this year. Sorry for the noise. And look at that one. And this one makes a different sound. Oh, that's great. I feel like the texture on that, because it's kind of like it's really soft, but because it's got. It's all actually quite lumpies. similar. Yeah, it is actually. Um, I feel <laughs> like. That it? one's though more vibrant, and he really mm. loves these. Yeah, so which I are wonder, super vibrant. It's going to be more like visually stimulating for him. Also, what we know from Frank is that he loves new things. Yes. So we put all of his toys back in the box, and then he takes them out as if they're new. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's a popular one. As soon as I opened the box and saw that dinosaur there, I knew he was going to love that because he loves those kinds of toys now. And yeah, I just regret squeaking it before I was ready to give it to him. It wouldn't be like Dog Parenting 101. No, it wouldn't. Be <laughs> I'm so happy. This is Dog Parenting 101. You can see like his little dog body is like ready to bounce. Yeah. Do you love a buddy? Oh my god, he's chewing the head. So either the head is going to be reinforced and that would be great for him or, or he'll, he'll have the head off it in a crush. Do it like this. <laughs> Basically crushing it. Oh buddy. It's the eyes, but the eyes are sewn on as opposed to being stuck on it anyway. Yeah. So they're, th they're hard thread, so I think it's yeah. just crunching. This is actually really great. And yeah. the reason being is that recently he's... Oh, it does squeak. He's reacting to that. This is this. Yeah. It's strong, first off. It's good for his teeth, but also he's recently started to like chew on this Nyla bone thing that we got him, which is one of the very first things we it ever bought. It was the him. first thing we bought. Yeah, and he's recently started to chew and it's really good for his teeth. Okay. Frank. What is it, buddy? What is it? Do you want it? Yeah. Which do you want to play with first, Frank? Oh, I think he's all about the bone thing, yeah? Yeah, so like this is, oh, it's actually a theme. This is like the Nyla bone, the very first one we got him. And now he started to kind of chew the different ends of it and it's really good for his teeth. But like this is, this is kind of much rubberier. It's kind of like a squeakier thing and he loves something that has like a really good texture in it. Like this for instance has a crinkle, which he loves. Well, it says it's durable, but like, I mean, is it Frank durable? Yeah, it's making a funny sound. Is he chewing it off? Yeah, these are some of the treats and yeah, he can probably smell them because I can smell them really strongly mm -hmm. and I don't have a huge sense so of smell. So this is a beef treat? These are the beef treats, yeah. So we're gonna see if he's gonna be a good boy for me now. Frank, do you want it? Is that yummy? Do you want another one? Is that very yummy? You being a good boy? Oops, here you go. Oh, not a, not that a good idea. That was not what I wanted to do, but it fell go off my around. hand. Go around. Frank. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> now. Let's try the other ones. Yeah, I think these have like resealable packs, oh, yeah, great. which is brilliant. So these are good for teeth. I always find when they say like good for dental hygiene, I'm like, yeah, but for what size of a dog? Mm -hmm. That is duck and sweet potato. Frank. Frank. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. <coughs> Good boy. That's all the treaties are getting for the moment, okay? And then there's this thing, which put a suction cup to the floor. You don't know what to do with it, do you? 
No. You alright? Hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think of it? He might be a bit overstimulated. I feel like that's yeah. gonna be the kind of thing that like he comes back to in a month. Yeah, let's just leave it there. Yeah. This was the only thing that it said is indestructible. Now, like most toys are not fully indestructible, but he's already he's at the ball. So he's just gone for the ball that was on the floor and he managed to pull the suction cup off the ground straight away. I'm gonna try that again at some stage. I'm gonna actually wet the suction cup like you would normally. He's actually having see. a great time with the suction cup is the only thing. Yeah, he may have destroyed the suction cup before I get a chance to actually do that. In but... fairness, he's not really like a kind of a tug of war kind of dog. He doesn't like it. Yeah. He's just chewing. Does oh, he wreck it? Yeah. Yeah, so we've taken this off him, and yeah, you're right, actually. It's a little chewed, um, but it's not bad. And I do think, yeah, I know. Um, I do think that if I was to wet this and stick it to the floor, it might suck properly, and then he'd hopefully just play with this end. But I think this isn't the kind of thing we can just leave him to play with, because he's just gonna destroy the suction cup part. The dinosaur has been a really big hit. He loved that. The treats are great. He's always gonna love the treats. So the only thing that kind of, I don't think is gonna work for him is the rubbery bone, just because he's already starting to pull at it at the corners, because that's what he does, that's the way he chews things. Like he doesn't just chew them normally. He's the dinosaur already, like. Yeah, like he will work on like the corner or the edge mm -hmm. of the rubber and just start pulling it apart. And he tries to shred them the same way he will shred a cardboard box. Yeah, is it? like the, the Greyhound breed, they have really strong jaws, so like, uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's the way that they play. Like they, they just, like what's surprising with that was I think he tried to chew the the green like spiky bit that came mm. off. And that's the only bit that would bother me is if he actually tries to swallow it. Yeah. Which he does with some things and doesn't with others. He loves squeaky toys and uh, they've been a great success. And yeah, and I do think mm -hmm. this, if we can get it to stick to the floor, would be a really good idea. Yeah, be great. He's just not like, he's not a tug of war kind of dog anyway, but I know that a lot of dogs would be. Yeah, he's exactly. Just not. Like if you had something like a Labrador or some kind of like mm. pit bull sort of a dog, like they would Even, love that kind of thing. Yeah, like friends of ours have um, a little terrier and he, yeah, he, he loves, loves tug of war. Okay, so first thing, the price. This costs eighteen ninety a month if you subscribe, plus shipping. So that's eighteen ninety sterling, not euro or dollars, it's UK sterling. And for me, when I looked this up, I looked at the shipping costs to Ireland and it was seven pounds. So that's... Money. Yeah, so yeah. it's 25.90. So you're probably looking at like 32 pounds, or 32 euro, euro maybe? Euro a month, yeah. if you were to subscribe to that as an Irish customer. If you're in the UK, um, maybe shipping is less, I, I don't know. But yeah, so the shipping costs vary from place to place, and the overall cost of the box itself is 18.90. What I would say about that is for everything you get in it, I'm pretty sure that if I went into a pet shop here and just bought all of these things individually, I'd be spending a lot more than 18.90 or whatever the euro equivalent of mm -hmm. that is. So from that point of view, it's definitely good value. If you're interested in checking out the Woof Woof subscription box, it's woofwoof.co.uk and I will leave a link to their website in the description below. And then a couple of just final thoughts on the box. I really like how it's packaged. I think I really love this paper here with all the like little images of doggos on it. And we were looking and we couldn't see any greyhounds, but you know. It's kind of handy lads though, so. Yeah. So I just, I just think it's really cute and it's really nice. And then the only other thing is that my only concern or worry about having a subscription box like this is that if you were to get one of these every month, very quickly your house would be overrun with dog toys. Now, the flip side to that is maybe it wouldn't if your dog goes through toys very quickly and destroys them, then actually it might be a really good way to keep your dog in good toy stock. So, but for us, like, I think Frank would have a lot of toys very, very fast. Also with Frank, we have like a little toy box, so we put his toys back in and sometimes he will, he'll just pick out a different toy to play with some days. So it's almost like he has new toys. Yeah. And like if we were going to, a shop or whatever and we saw a toy that we thought he'd like we would get it but like frank does destroy toys faster than most dogs but not as fast as very destructive dogs so he definitely we always have to keep an eye on his toys um and check them for wear but he doesn't yeah he's not 
overly destructive. He's like, I'd just say he's like big dog, regular amount of destructive when it comes to toys. Yeah, definitely. I really like that they theme the box. Like even the fact that, you know, they put stuff in this like little green package that says Dino Meat. Frank's ears have just gone up because I'm actually gonna give him this. Cause that's always what happens is like, it's like you buy a kid a toy and then it plays with the box. That's Frank. That's Frank. Yeah, he, um, I thought that was really nice and I liked that they themed it and like even all the toys are kind of a green color. I also like that they give you something that is kind of like a practical thing as well because often doggy subscription boxes are all just toys and treats and stuff but this is going to be really practical and even just for bringing it away like if we brought it to someone's house or something yeah. that'd be really handy just for like him not creating a mess. Obviously this would be better for a dog that eats off the floor but Frank doesn't. And then the other thing, yeah, it's kind it of it. just like generally about subscription boxes. I always feel like you're never going to get every single toy that's going to suit your dog. It's a shame that the rubber things were in it because I thought that they'd be more durable than they are, but mm, yeah. Frank is Frank. Um, and he has like a Frisbee, which he got in another subscription box, which he destroys, but hasn't fully destroyed it yet. He hasn't so, broken through it. like. Yeah. And true. I think as well, he just gets really excited at the very start. But I suppose if I was, like if this was, if we were subscribed to them, I would kind of have to, I would say to them not to put in rubber toys like that. Yeah, um, and uh, I never thought of it when they asked me, was there anything? But sure we didn't know. We, yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, same, really like the packaging. And I always think these subscription boxes are a really good idea for something like a birthday, dog birthday, yeah. Christmas, or like gifting it to 100%. someone with a new dog. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think, yeah, for us, that it would be worth the investment Every, every month, month. Yeah. and even he doesn't even go through treats that much either no like. no we have treats there for ages and ages so. yeah, yeah we have like training treats for him so so that is the woof woof subscription box thanks to woof woof for sending us this frank seems to really enjoy it so i'm going to leave this video here i hope you liked it if you do please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you want to check out the woof woof subscription box as i said already the information yeah. Yeah. The information's in the description box below. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. See you in the next video. Bye. This is what we meant by like, if you give him the box.